Hello and welcome to today's video for Mick Taylor Plumbing Limited. Today we're going to discuss about how to fit a toilet. Like and subscribe. Okay, so first things first, we've got our toilet, we've got our toilet brackets, we've got our cold feed, and we've also got a waste pipe coming out the wall. The waste pipe coming out the wall can be problematic if it's slightly lower than uh, the outlet of the toilet here from the, from the floor. But if you're having an issue, go to your local plumbers merchant. There's all different types of uh, pan connectors which can get you out of trouble. Another little tip is uh, if you're working on a hard surface such as tiles, it's always good to have a piece of cardboard underneath the toilet because you've got hard porcelain or ceramic on uh, hard tiles, which if you're not careful, you can crack the toilet pan or the tile. Next, you put the toilet in position. For me, I've gone center of this space, so it, which is so it's exactly in the middle, so it looks really nice. I've put a little pencil mark there. I've made a note of where the center of the toilet is, so that is my exact center, which is where my saw pipe comes out for, for the waste outlet. You then need to come down here. So you've got these holes here, which is where the screw goes in to fix the toilet to the floor. And there is the same on the other side. Now what I've done, you can see, if I get my camera angle right, I've drawn a line around there. And exactly where this comes down, I've drawn a pencil line out like so. And I'm gonna do exactly the same this side. So again, I hope my camera angles are right here, cross there, and there's the pencil line out. There is another measurement we need to take for the waste pipe. But for the ease of this video, I'm going to keep on the brackets and then slightly later in the video, we'll come on to that waste pipe. Next, you whip the toilet out. This gives us the, the measurements from the outside of the toilet, so the external side of the toilet, all the way across to the other external side of the toilet. The next thing we need to do is measure the fitness of the ceramic of the toilet. But next, we whip the toilet upside down on its side like this with the cardboard underneath and we go like that. So the whole idea of this, you get your tape measure. So the screw holes are just here and here. It's, you can see that. You get your tape. You might not be able to see from your angle, but that tells me that that is 15 millimeters or 1.5 centimeters. Check the other side as well. That's the same, which it is. Wonderful. So we keep that measurement. And the whole idea, which we'll come on to in a minute, is we put, when we put the screw in, it screws into this, and then when we tighten it up, it pinches it nice and tight. And that is what that side looks like, where the screw hole goes into. There's loads there, so if you're slightly out, you've got a bit of play, um, but that's the whole idea. So we've marked up uh, from this edge, the outside edge, to the external edge, 15 mil or 1.5 centimeters to the inside of the ceramic of the toilet. We've done the same this side, from the outside edge, 15 mil to there. So that is, the so all this here is the ceramic of the toilet. So we don't want that to get in our way. Next, you get straight edge or spirit level or whatever. For me, I've got a piece of wood just because it was here. You put it on these two lines where we marked earlier, that one and that one, just like so and then you draw your line all the way across. And that gives you that. Next, you get your bracket. So that's the bit you screw into from the side of the toilet. The bit you want to face down is that section. So it goes like that. Now, you don't want to put this over the inside of the ceramic or even further. You want to get it so it's just shy. Give yourself two or three mil play, like so. And then in there, that line, you want it to, oops, to be continuous. Let's just line that up again, like that. So we know it's straight for this one. And we get this one to exactly the same. So it's nice, just like that. A couple of mil on the inside, straight there, all the way across, straight there. Then you get your pencil mark. I'll do this with one hand, which isn't, again, tricky. Try and get it roughly about in the middle. Do the same for the other side, then drill your holes. Once you've drilled your holes, get your washer on your screw, put it in there, put it in and screw it in. So that's just like that. So that's this part of part done. Uh, just be careful when you're screwing into, depending on what surface you're screwing into. If you're screwing into wood or, or whatever, 
just be careful of any pipes or anything under the floor below to try and allow for the thickness of the tile or laminate flooring or, or whatever finished flooring you've got uh, and the thickness of your floorboards which normally are about 18 to 20 millimeters so this is the other measurement i referred to so from the front of the soil pipe to here you get that measurement so from here to here is 9.5 centimeters or 95 millimeters so, so this is the pan connector i'm going to use today so the, this measurement from here to the end, that actually sits inside this soil pipe. So we, we purposely didn't take that measurement. We measured from the front of the soil pipe, which is here. This bit here from there to there, that sits on the back of the toilet of the ceramic part, as you can see into that lip there. So the measurement I'm going to take, which is 9.5 centimetres or 95 mil, depending on which metric you use, is there. So if you can see, the soil pipe will sit into the snug there where the tape measure end is. You've then got the bit in the middle, which is 9.5 centimetres, 95 mil, which is, takes us, it's difficult to do with one hand, but there. So that is the measurement we took and that is how we do it. So this is perfect. If you want to, if you've got a solid piece, then you could use that measurement to cut it down and then it will work, no problem. Next job, get some lube. If you haven't got any lube, get some ferro liquid or something like that from around the house. Get your pan connector. You're gonna put it into the soil pipe first. So give it a good smear around there. Uh, like so, just get plenty on. Now I don't put any on that side just yet but we will do. The reason I don't do that is when we're pushing it into the soil pipe, my hands or our hands are there, we're pushing it and we're just getting caped in, in lube. So uh, yeah, we'll just rub that right there. And then it goes. This is the setup we've got now. Uh, plane connectors in, brackets are in and solid. Just check your measurement up here. Ours was 95 or 9.5 centimeters. We push that back, that looks pretty good. So now we're ready to offer the toilet up and uh, screw them in. You'll notice that these bits of ceramic here, when we push it back, hit these. So we almost need to lift it up, slot it like so over them until we can get it down. We're nearly there and then we can just push it back nicely. But first I'll line the pan connector up properly. Next, we get the pan connector. Uh, we're going to slot that all the way home. We've got a slight gap at the top here, as you can see, just to give us yourself a bit of room. I'm just going to put that on because I've moved it up. Much easier to do. There we go. And then push it back. You can see where our lines were before. We've come up perfectly there, and the same this side. Next, you put the you get the screw. You put the plastic uh, washer on, and the whole idea is that is when you screw it in, the plastic touches the, the ceramic, and it doesn't damage it. Metal on the ceramic will damage it, crack it, whichever. Next, put the screw in, line them up, start them off by hand. Use your screwdriver. Do not use a drill or anything like that because you have less control. And it, what you'll end up doing, you'll screw it so tight, you'll crack this down there or whichever. So use your screwdriver. Put your nice shiny chrome caps on. Like and subscribe. That's all nice and tight now. Uh, you'll have a little bit of a wobble on there. It's very minimal. And what we'll do, we'll put a bead, a nice tidy bead of silicone all the way around the base. Uh, and that will help once it's gone off to just dry it and make it solid. Um, we've got the system. That'll be uh, on a different video, which will be recommended after this one. So thanks ever so much for watching this short video from Nick Taylor Pro Limited. See you soon.